the swans! Go the Jays! Go the Tigers! If we were to walk out tomorrow, there would not be a game. I think the integrity of the game is always the most important thing, so... Stop changing the rules. Bailey's looking like a genius. <laughs> I think it's just rubbish. We're innocent. Demetrio, fix it up. He's getting a bit ahead of himself, I think. We're all behind Bossy. If I had a chance to kill him, I'm killing him! Footy is the winner. Bruce will love this. Bruce will love it. Now, have you got a pancake or not? Good evening and welcome to Footy Talk Back. The only footy show about the fans for the fans. Hi, who's? Hands. Fans. Football penalties are denied with gloves on. Ironically, in the case of the AFL drug scandal, where the gloves were well and truly off hands, the saving of penalties has tragically elevated our once great game to the laughing stock of world sport. Damn straight, who's? The fans have known all along the severity of penalties required for drug cheats. If they're guilty, how would you punish them? Kick him out. Gone. Life. Who? Gone. Life. Who? Life. Who? The whole club? The whole club. Joe's, Joe's Brown line? Ah. Gone. 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 <laughs> never, to, never to come back, the Bombers. Nah. How come? Oh, you should know what you're taking. you got to know what you're taking. Wow, who's? That seems pretty harsh. Especially considering we don't even know what they were taking. Well, in the case of Honest Joe, Hans, I think you're right. But now, as athletes all around the world muse at the leniency of the AFL penalties, let's find out what the fans think. Pumped. I don't know, I've never been to a game in my life. Oh, haven't you? First time. Where are you from? Uh, Townsville. Oh, Go okay. tight! <laughs> Go tight! Uh, should be good. Have you heard about the Essendon drug scandal? Oh, I have, yes, I have, I have. Did you see the penalties? Uh, yeah, yeah, I did. What did you think of the penalties? Um, I don't know, for a sport with this much money, uh, put a bit more on there. In fact, put some bands in there. Sorry, put some... Put some bands in there, not just financial. Two million's nothing to the club. Oh, look, it was, it was upsetting. Mm -hmm. It was upsetting. We're glad, uh, I think we're glad Herdy will be back. Uh, if he doesn't kind of coach next year, it'll be the year after. Although a lot can happen in a year. You don't know how people are going to feel in a year's time. So, but, you know. Do you think Herdy's penalty was fair? No. You don't? No. What should he have got? No. What should uh, Ian Robson have got, you reckon? He was a CEO. He got the sack. What should Paul Hamilton, he resigned. What should oh, Paul Hamilton have got? Okay, yep. What should Paul Hamilton have got? He resigned. Manager. They got out. They got out. Yeah. So who gets dragged through the mud? You tell me. <laughs> you tell me. For seven months. Heard? Yeah. Yeah. So what you, for? So you don't think he should have got anything? No, nah, look. It should have happened differently. I don't think it should have uh, lasted seven months of demonisation and defamation the way it happened. That's the media though, that isn't it? was unfair. It? it was, yeah. It's the media. Yeah. It's the media. It's the AFL manipulating it. Yeah. Their spin is the best spin of all. How on earth can that ex-family court judge and Mike Fitzpatrick and Andrew Demetriou, Bill Kelty pulled himself out, but how can that group of people, okay, mm -hmm. say to their own executive, you stuffed up, your uh, charges are wrong, okay? How can they do that? It's loaded. I don't know, all we've heard about for the past six or so months is drug cheat, drug cheat, drug cheat, and so far I don't think there's been any sanctions against the players or anything like that, so... I don't really, in my personal opinion, I don't really think uh, what's happened, like poor governance warrants, missing finals, missing draft picks, losing a coach for 12 months. But Heard he did wrong, so he probably had to go, but I think pushing it to draft picks is maybe taking it a little bit far. Having a hot dog? Yeah. How much does that cost? Six bucks. Is that all? Is that all, yeah. It's a, a mortgage, for, mortgage for property to get this. Bargain, six bucks. Yep. Yeah. Hey, what did you think of the Essendon penalties? Uh, I'd hate to know what they got if they uh, if they actually are proven to take drugs. Nothing's proven in t terms of drugs, but I thought it was a little bit harsh. So at this stage, a bit harsh, just a little bit. But beware if Asada yeah. issue yeah, infractions. Yeah, they'll come down on them even harder. I'm not happy. I'm, yeah, I'm not happy. I'm, I'm just glad it's behind them in that sense and everything. I think the AFL have got a bit to answer for now. Like just in their, well, in their governance, so there's a lot of things that go on behind closed doors. I think that that sort of the they public don't know, and they want to air Essendon's dirty laundry. But I think everyone's got their own dirty laundry to air. And they have to take responsibility as well. It's yeah. duty of care to the players, and they were just as negligent as Essendon were. 
and they've made their mistakes and they're paying for it, but the AFL haven't exactly paid for it and we hope that they, um, they use the money that they're going to get to make sure that there's a duty of care to the players. Do you, think, do you think the penalties you got were fair? I think the two million was fair. I, the draft picks, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, well, I'm not happy about the draft picks. It's probably going to affect us down the track, but at the moment I think it's OK. I think for the rest of the AFL and the rest of the AFL clubs, I think it was a, as a fair thing because, look, Carlton have gone through I hate Carlton, but they went through it. So, yeah, I, I, the draft picks I can, I can handle. I'm not happy with it. I can handle the two million doesn't bother me. Um... But James Heard probably could have been yeah, able to defend himself a little better. Yeah, yeah. Why didn't he, do you think? Because it's better for the club. Better for the club and better for the AFL. That's what the that's the line the AFL were, were taking, I think, to sort of more or less look... Don't... Well, that's exactly what worries us, isn't it? It's an AFL line. Do you think there yeah. might be more to it? Yeah, I think it is. I think once Bruce Reed gets to say his, his piece, which is going to happen, I think the AFL are a little bit, bit sensitive on what's probably going to happen there. So they've got a lot to answer for, and I think there's a lot to come out that they'll find out about with what Bruce Reed's got to say. So yeah. he's got more on the line, Bruce Reed, than what a footy club has. He's got his career. James Hurd has, but he's he can come back, but Bruce Reed's, you know, respected figure in the medical you know, circle as well so I think there's a lot to come out that they'll find out about that the AFL won't be happy about. I don't understand we're supposed to lose all our points how come we've still got 56 points and we're ninth? That, that is ridiculous in itself Well it's better that you're ninth and not us Well that's what I told we're my friend, I told my girlfriend that's a Richmond supporter, we're the new Richmond because we're ninth <laughs> we're taking over the new Richmond You, you can keep that <laughs> oh well, it could have been a lot worse. I didn't think I'd, I'd we'll ever be, see. I'll we'll uh, be back next year. I didn't think I'd ever see a wooden spoon in my lifetime, but I was a bit concerned I might. But we still, they missed out. Mm, we'll do what he likes, and he might give us a wooden spoon at the end of the season. Mister Who? Who's that? You can work that out. <laughs> work, work that out, fans. Go, Sue. You're a You can't stand up there. You're going to fall over and hurt yourself. How long can you balance for? Boring. Have died anyone? One up. Um. Right, two. I had one. Thanks, right. What's going on? Not sure. I don't know. I don't know. Who's? What? Do you know what's going on? With what? Yeah. I just read that the AFL 2IC, Gillan McLaughlin, has said the AFL weren't out there regularly monitoring what was going on, which is a lack of corporate governments, which is exactly what they just charged Essendon with. Corporate what? Did Essendon get charged with something? Are you serious? Are you serious? I'm there at a football club. Who? Essendon. Who oh, knows that? I'm at a pep drop. I feel dizzy. Yeah, they're pretty cool. You got any Thermotion? Yeah, the pink ones are Thermotion. You're watching Footy Talk Back. Go Tide! Till 5 p.m. weekend. You're watching Footy Talk Back. Go to Bombers! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Welcome back to Footy Talk Back. Will, finally the AFL have acted and brought the drug scandal to a conclusion. Yet still so many unanswered questions. Hands, fans, indeed the truth is. Hands is about as accessible as grand final tickets and in fact fans have been searching for both of these all season. In fact, as far back as round 13 there have been questions raised about the joint AFL and ASADA investigation. 
why hasn't this been resolved in a more timely manner? How many more tests do they need to run on the players' samples? Surely it's not that hard. Yeah. Just wonder why. Why indeed, Will? Why did it take so long? And why did they negotiate the penalties instead of just smashing the Bombers into oblivion for their drug cheating? Hans, it's great to have you asking the hard questions <laughs> that other people seem afraid to ask. But I think it's pretty clear that the AFL has manipulated both the timing and the nature of their penalties to look after their financial interests, which is fair enough. I mean, after all, they've got 17 other clubs to look after. However, these financial priorities do mean that the truth will remain elusive for the fans. I have read every paper. I have watched every show. Searching to find the truth But still I get more confused We've heard from Cara and Patrick Smith Every journal has torn it to bits We've read all the charges Ain't heard much from the side And we still haven't found out whose mom that was. And true Demetrio, cold Evan Tarr, we'll never know what he said on the phone. As fans, we know nothing. We get treated like mine. Our game of footy can't be saved These corporate bastards have got money to be made He died when Fitzroy did Wish I was a boy again And the integrity of the game is now very poor Why do you think the AFL negotiated with Essendon? No, I think it was the other way around. But why do you think there was negotiations going on? Uh, so Essendon get a fair fair deal out of it, I think. I think it was the AFL's way they would have finished 18th, today, uh, 18th this season. Why do you think they didn't just slam that on them? I think, um, I think Essendon had evidence against them, that's why. What sort of evidence are you imagining? Well, the way I see it, Gold Coast was, Gold Coast had Stephen Dank and Dean Robinson at their club. Um, I think the Gold Coast was AFL owned, and I think they hired both those both those people at their club. That's why I think. That's what I think. So you reckon there's been AFL involvement in yeah, these blokes? Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. Why don't you think we'll ever find out the truth? <laughs> I think there's a lot of lies in this sort uh, this story. And I, I think both parties are not telling the truth. Oh, there's been things hidden. So that's my opinion, anyways. But it is what it is, yeah? <laughs> what sort of lies can you imagine? Oh, I'd love to know what drugs they took. I'd love to know. I don't think they were performance-enhancing drugs, but I'd love to know what they actually gave the players. I feel sorry for the players at the end of the day. And I think out of the whole thing, I think James Hurd copped the stiffest penalty a year ban. That's my opinion anyway. I think $2 million from the club is nothing. 
Um, they can afford that, but um, the uh, I think James Hurd copped it the most. Why do you think the AFL uh, negotiated with Essendon? Because they're soft. Essendon or the AFL? The AFL. Why so? Oh, if they've done the wrong thing, there's no negotiation, they get the penalty. So, do you, is there any reason for them being soft, Jerry? Not unless they've got something to hide. Why don't you think we'll ever hear the truth about this whole debacle? Oh, there's too many people involved and there's too many people that will come undone. I don't think you want to know my answer. Oh, I certainly do. <laughs> um, <clears throat> negotiated, because the AFL would be um, frightened of what would be exposed if Essendon took it to the Supreme Court. I don't know what that is. Um, <clears throat> but as a Bombers supporter, I think that Essendon were bullied into accepting the penalties. Uh, because they didn't want to lose too much face themselves. I, re I reckon their, their, uh, their uh, case against the Bombers was so, so thin they had, had to come to some agreement or else they would have been there for the next 12 months fighting about it. Mm. Yeah. That's why you think they didn't just slam them down? Yeah, yeah. Their, their case was too weak to really slam them down. I, I, in a lot of ways, the Bombers, you know, the people that were involved should have been given more than, than the Bombers themselves. Mm. I reckon losing their premiership points was, was a bit beyond the pale. Crucify the guys that needed crucifying, but, but the team should have been left alone. Why don't you think the truth will ever come out? Uh, well, I don't know whether it will, will or it won't. Uh, I hope it does eventually. But uh, it's probably in the vested interest of the AFL just to keep things a bit quiet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <That's the truth. laughs> Why do you think the AFL negotiated with Essendon? Well, because they, they didn't know what they were doing. Between the SADA and the VFL, or the AFL, sorry. Same deal. Like, the most incompetent body of people you would never want to meet. <laughs> never want to meet. <clears throat> and that's an understatement. And, uh, and to, and to penalise Essendon before this game, it's a non-event. They had to wait another week, at least they would have had something to play for. Oh, I suppose they had to talk to them. They and couldn't just lay down the law? Oh, well, they laid down the law enough without <laughs> trying to push people around. So well, they're, they're the boss of the competition, aren't they? Yeah, well, a lot of bosses don't know the right thing, do they? <laughs> That's the it's truth. A little, <laughs> Supporters, they're the, other one. they're the bosses really. If you didn't have the supporters, you wouldn't have the bosses. Against you. It's not doing anything. Time for on the run, fans. Let's find out which peptide the fans prefer. AOD or Thermosin? AOD. AOD or Thermosin? AOD. 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 <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, let's go to the motion. AOD, why? Oh, the motion, mate. Straight up. Uh, from, uh, I don't know, mate. Who knows? The motion. AOD. <laughs> AOD. I'll go with the motion. No idea. It's no worries. Do you prefer AOD or the motion? No comments. Fair enough. <laughs> you're watching when you go back. Go to time! Go to time! <laughs> Breakfast till 5 pm weekends. You are watching Footy Talk Back. Go the Bombers! Welcome back to Footy Talk Back. Stay tuned for your chance to win a $100 voucher to the Pancake Parlor coming up right after this. Hi, Pete. Fans, fans. Um, actually, it's not Pete. From now on, it's Stephen. Stephen? Mm. Why Stephen? Well, I happen to like the name Stephen. <laughs> actually, in fact, it is Stephen Hank. Oh, Stephen Hank. Mm. 
So, where's your whistle, Stephen Hank, and what is, what's in the jar? I've put my whistle away, Hans. You put it away? Well, to be precise, I've actually traded it for this jar of peptides. Peptides? Mm. Are you sure that's wise in this environment? Of course it is, Hans. I'm looking at it as a big career move. According to our old mate Bomber, he says there's going to be lots of job opportunities coming up for sports scientists all around the country. Thanks would be banned from sport for life, I say. What do you think of sports scientists? I think they're doing the wrong thing. I don't know why they actually hired them in the first place. Mm. Um, yes, I think that they, we were totally ripped off. I mean, these guys were at Geelong. Geelong won a premiership. And then Bomber Thompson says, hey, let's get them at Essendon. So James Hurd says, oh, well, OK, if it worked at Geelong, and I reckon that Danks probably did a little bit of testing on his own. What are sports scientists supposed to do? I don't know. I'm, just, I'm trying to work that out. Well, I think he was experimenting without actually telling anybody. And then when mm. they threw him out, he took all his records with him, which is why there aren't any. Ah. Which is why they can't actually prove anything, because he took all that crap with him. Oh, you're onto something, aren't you? But he's now lost his job and he probably won't get hired by anybody else, will he? I don't think so. So if you saw Steve Dang, what would you say to him? I... yeah. <laughs> <laughs> would probably tell him he was a total jerk being nice. <laughs> um, I think most Essendon supporters would actually not really appreciate him and I just don't see why he hadn't come out and supported Heard if he wasn't really doing anything wrong. No, oh, thank you sir. What are they? Peptides. What are they? What's that mean? Um, that means well, that they, they stimulate you. What's that meant to stimulate you? <sighs> I, don't, I don't understand what you're saying. I oh, see so you're not having any now. Well, I don't know what they are. I don't trust them. Yeah, okay. I'm a sports scientist. Yeah, but what are they? Seriously, what, what do they do to you? Uh, they make you um, lose weight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love your food, man. You're a very nice guy. But I don't know. Uh. <laughs> what do you think of sports scientists? <laughs> Not bad. Yeah. Oh, they're very nice and that. Yep. They're very good people. Yeah. What you, have you ever heard of a guy called Stephen Dank? Uh, yeah, I did. I, I don't like him. What, what he's done at Essendon, and I think it's wrong. But they missed out on the finals, and it's just ridiculous, yeah. you know? It's just not right. Yeah, peptides. Do you like one? <laughs> no. <laughs> good answer. I'm an adult. Adult. I'm an adult. Are you? Yes. And what's that mean? What? Well, put it this way. Um, would you get anything injected into you that you didn't know what you were taking? Never. Well, there you go. On the there you same. go. So, same with the flu injection. Right, I'm scared of injections. I'm like Zaharakis. <laughs> Terrified of them. That's, That's exactly. my excuse anyway. Exactly. Mm. So that, that is my... I've been nursing all my life. And I'll never change. So I don't know... No, I just don't know what, what's going on. But anyway. Do you think they need sports scientists in football? No. No. Do you reckon we do? I don't think so. No, I don't either. Exactly. I mean, if you can't do it on your own merits, all right, fair, I go to a gym, bodybuilding and all this, what they do and training and everything. Mm. If you can't win on your own merits, stiff luck. Do you pay for the Bombers? You look like you pay for the Bombers. Yeah, I used to, yeah. But I got yeah. kicked out because it took too much. All right. Uh, can I use him one of these? Have I seen one of them? Do you want one? Yeah. yeah. Sweet. Thanks. So you must have played for Essendon and you just took them without even asking what they were. Yeah, that's a good run. Yeah. <laughs> I like that one. Against you, you can't sleep here. Oh, you're not asleep. Sorry, mate, you texted. Oh. I call it the grand final, blokes. That's crunch time. That's season defining. I don't care whether you're injecting pig's blood or brains or fish eyes or, geez, you could be rubbing scales all over yourself. You could be doing it high altitude, low altitude. You could be doing it underwater. It doesn't matter. That's not football. Football's a game. It's a game that's played on a hard pitch. It's a game that's played in the head, and in the heart, love. and love, bloke. It's a game that you mean. It's a game that you feel. That's football, blokes. I don't want to see creams, pills, needles. I don't want any of that. I want to see the game as it's meant to be. Don't give me what's right and what's wrong. Give me football. Against you. 
I saw you steal that. Should go roll. Time for Fan of the Week, fans. Last week we asked our fans who should judge the Essendon drug scandal. And FTB utility, Matt Hogan said, Trevor Marmalade. He's funny. So is Trevor Marmalade. <laughs> FTB loyal son, Paul Aaron said, Judge Judy. Genius. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, FTB rookie John Drennan said, Can judge even genius that? I'm not sure if either of those are genius, but this week's winner certainly is Aurora Avante, who said, Ben Cousins. That is a brilliant answer. $100 pancake pile of voucher coming at ya. And this week's question is, what penalty would you add to the Bombers' punishment sheet? I wouldn't be adding a penalty to you, I'd be tearing it up. Brilliant, Bomber! Log on to the FTB Facebook page for your chance to have a say and to win. I'll tell you what, I'd be giving them Patrick Smith for their pre-match address and Caroline Wilson to finish it off! <laughs> yeah, take that! Oh, that would hurt. I'd give, be giving them Cozzy to play full forward for the next decade. Don't know Cozzy Hoos, we love him! Fans, keep talking! Pato, take it away! Cause